know who's flying that plane, don't you? The unsinkable Baron Von Classic Game Room. That's who. There's nothing quiet on the Western Front when I'm around. Putting these World War I era airplanes through their paces here in Rise of Flight. If names like Eddie Reckenbacher, Baron von Richthofen, Quentin Roosevelt, and the Lafayette Escadrille mean anything to you, you probably already own this game. Or at least you should. If the only thing you know about biplanes is Snoopy vs. the Red Baron, and if you like flight games, the more common ones that would be reviewed on this show, like Hawks and Blazing Angels, Afterburner, this is one you may want to look at. However, it is not an easy game just to jump in and play. It will require some time. Rise of Flight, the first great air war, is available on PC. This is more of a realistic flight simulator and less of an arcade-style flight shooting everything that moves kind of game, but they do give you about 30 different options and, and boxes that you can check to make flying as easy as possible. I have every single one of them checked. Because when I turned them off, the plane was being batted around in the air by wind, and I frankly have no idea how to fly. So I basically littered the French landscape with my airplane. Take that observation balloon. That's for observing. I'm flying with a PC flight stick and using the mouse to look around while I'm in the first person mode. That way I can see the observation balloon falling to its doom after I've shot it. Yeah, I think I just hit everything except what I was aiming at. Rise of Flight is one of those games that is made with a lot of love. There's a lot of passion in this game. You know, some, some video games are made just to obviously get a couple bucks, cashing in on a franchise, giving people exactly what they want. Not this one. This one is made by people who love World War I airplanes. It's not a dumbed down game. And you don't need to know how to fly to play it, but you do need to know how to play a flight simulator to turn off all of the easy buttons and actually play with some real wind and physics. You can admire the airplanes and learn about them. There's a lot of information in this game. You can fly in World War I missions. And there is multiplayer so that you can play with friends all around the world. For those of us who are more familiar with games like Afterburner 2 or Blazing Angels, just straight up arcade style flight games, Rise of Flight is accessible because when you turn on all of the easy buttons so that your plane is not being batted around in the wind like a balloon, it's fairly easy to fly in the first person perspective. There's a couple different camera angles so you can sit back and just admire the incredible visuals and detail that they've put into this game. Like many PC games, this game gives you a lot of gameplay. This game gives you a lot in general, but it's not as well laid out as a big budget mainstream PlayStation 3 or 360 title. Oh wait, hold on, here we go again. Buckle up. This game could have used some more cinematic explosions. I want to see a huge fireball and mushroom cloud when I hit the ground. That airplane is packed with courage. It's explosive. Yeah. Rise of Flight is a good looking game. By the way, my call sign is Mothra. If you want to experience this game for all that it's worth, you have to spend some time with it. But as you can see on screen, it is extremely rewarding. 
the sense of scale, the sense of environment that you're actually there is amazing. Taking out observation balloons like TIE Fighters and a celebratory barrel roll. I have indicators turned on as well. You can turn everything off if you'd like to see no indicators. You can go as hardcore as you want in this game and just turn off everything. You have to start your airplane, take off, finish a mission, and land. Don't run out of gas. Don't run out of ammo. Don't crash. And don't fly like me, but do take the time to look around and admire the landscape. Just check out the detail that they put into the interiors and the gauges. I forgot to mention there are numerous airplanes that you can fly. I don't know my World War I airplanes very well. I know the Newport 17 and 28 are in here. And I think one of the earlier shots of the menus had a listing of a couple of the airplanes in the game. No F-16s though. They haven't been invented yet. Don't try to shoot people in the trenches. They've, they've got it bad enough down there. Actually, there's no people running around in the trenches. That's one of the first things I look for. I guess they have to draw the line somewhere. The game is detailed enough. And occasionally, if you're having a dogfight right over the, the uh, combat area and there's explosions going off and flak in the air, there's a, there's a bit of slowdown and jerkiness but not that much. On the whole, this game is extremely smooth. I think you want some good hardware to enjoy Rise of Flight. Hey, did, did you see that? I almost crashed on the ground again. I haven't even taken off yet. Oh, you can put the game on autopilot if you'd like it to actually take off without crashing, if you suck at flying, like I do. The autopilot's pretty handy as well just to get into the game and learn how to play it because you can watch where your plane's going to go and just get a sense for how to actually play the missions. I'm like a vulture right now searching for something to shoot. There's a train down there. Let's go for it. Now that's German engineering. The plane has crashed, but the machine gun still works. That's the review. This is a serious game that can be enjoyed by enthusiasts, as well as the average gamer. They give you enough controls and options to tailor the game to your style of gameplay. It's a beautiful game. It's very cool to see this kind of game and to see a World War I action game. I've been screaming for years for more World War I games. This is not an arcade title. It is not easy to pick up and play. It's challenging. It can be frustrating. The menu interface is kludgy, and the instruction manual is pretty much worthless. But if you have some time to spend with the game, you'll find an extremely rewarding experience in Rise of Flight. I have to drop the unsinkable from my title. I wonder if the gun still works. 